classes were poorly constructed. A report by Auditor General Nancy Gadenge now shows. In her report, Gadenge said interviews with school management revealed that the classroom were constructed within a short period of time. Branamoy now reports. The construction of the CBC classes was deplorable. A report by the Auditor General Nancy Gadungu conducted after the Public Accounts Committee of the National Assembly requested reveals. The committee asked Gadungu to undertake a special audit on all expenditures incurred under Article 223 of the Constitution for the period. In her report, Gadungu noted that the construction projects and the classes, which was as a result of recommendations of the CBC Task Force 2020, was poorly done. The Auditor General's report indicates that interviews conducted with schools management revealed that the classrooms were constructed within a short period of time leading to substandard work. The report states, therefore the potential strength and durability of concrete was not fully developed. The short construction duration and insufficient funding resulted in poor quality of the constructed classrooms. The special audit team sampled 215 secondary schools in 27 counties that had been funded for the construction of CBC classrooms. The budget for one classroom was approximated to be 788,220. This was arrived at after the State Department for Early Learning and Basic Education engaged the State Department for Public Works to develop the budget for building one classroom. Gadungu, in her report, says the amount was arrived at without taking into consideration the terrain and topographical layout across the country. In addition, material costs were not standard across the country. The amount was therefore not sufficient for the construction of a standard classroom. The CBC construction project was aimed at helping the transition of learners from the primary level to the junior secondary level. The aim was to ensure the provision of classrooms for grade 6 students transitioning to grade 7, which was to be domiciled in the existing secondary schools, a move that the government changed later after it was decided that the grade 7 students would be domiciled in primary schools. The government had intended to construct over 10,000 classrooms in secondary schools across the country, with a budget of 8 billion being allocated, appropriated to the Ministry of Education by the National Treasury, after it was directed by the then head of public service Joseph Kinyua, out of which an amount of 2 billion was funded through Article 223 of the Constitution. The classroom in Phase 1 of the project were constructed between November 21, 2021, and June 30, 2022. On capitation for grade 7 learners, the report shows that the capitation of grade 7 learners in JSS was successful in many of the 312 sample schools. However, the special audit team established that 187 out of the sampled 312 junior secondary schools had students that did not receive capitation. The actual enrollment of the 187 JSS was 29,653 learners. However, they received capitation for 22,313 learners leaving 7,340 learners without funding. The team gave an example of Arab Moi Primary School in Kajiado North Subcounty, which had an actual enrollment of 520 grade 7 learners. However, the school received capitation for 276 learners. The school had therefore not received capitation for almost half of their learners. Further, eight schools did not receive capitation for any of their JSS learners. This was the case in Kauti Junior Secondary School in Kadiani Subcounty which had 51 learners. However, the school did not receive capitation for Term 1 and Term 2. The special audit team established that there was congestion in grade 7 classes, with some classes having between 80 to 100 learners, way above the required class of 45 learners. As a result, there was a high pupil-to-teacher ratio, negatively affecting the teacher-student engagement. Further, the schools did not have science laboratories. Brian Amuai, Look Up TV, Nairobi.